What's poppin'? Y'all know what time it is today. We back with another teach tape. First of all, I'm gonna say I appreciate y'all because all this love y'all been giving me is insane right now. So I'm not gonna do too much talking right now because y'all know why we're here. We got a lot of stuff to give y'all. So start with the fundamentals. There's a route tree. And um, if you get to the NFL or something like that, fortunately one day, or if you go to, you know, in college, sometimes colleges might run the route tree. We got a special guest in the building. What's happening, what's happening? Hey, show what you, show, show what you got right there. Y'all know Kyla Casper, man. Y'all seen him before. Defense John. He said time. He, he looked at me. Kyla looked at me. He looked at me, y'all. He looked at me. He gave me a look. He, he, did, looked at he did this. Dude, right, 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 now. right now. Right now. It's coming this way. Hey. Six five monster, six six whatever you want to call. It. You think he's taller than me? He's not. Leave in the comments right now who's taller. Leave in the comments right now. <laughs> All right, nah, nah, real talk. Leave talk. Nah, stay down. Nah, right, look, nah, this is real. Cause, no, don't lift your head up. Just do like this, back to back. And we gonna let him get that. Nah, I'm not. I'm not. Nah, it ain't. In the comments, y'all let us know because he been on my ass about it. And I ain't going for that. Pause. Let's go. But hey, y'all also know who we got in the building. Dot. What do you do for a living? Throw dots for a living. You already know what it is. <laughs> hey, you already know. You got the boy in the building. But look, like I said, we're breaking down a route tree today by numbers. So, Kyler, for example, if I'm like, yo, line up, we got um, number two out there. What you gonna run? Slant. See, you got a slant. Well, I'm gonna give you an example, a real good one. So, we got trips left. So, trips left, what's that, Zach? We got three guys to the left, right? Yep. And what we got, a single guy to the right? Best, best receiver to the right. Best single receiver up. to the right, that's, you know. And it'll start from left to right. So, we say four, two, three. That guy on the outside has a four route. What's that? Four route. That's a three. And the guy on the inside has a three. What's that? Out. Quick out. Quick out. And what else I say? An eight? Eight. Hooks. Yep. So you got it right there. That's just a simple way to learn a route tree. And we're going to break it down for you. I'll instruct. Young Buck going to run it. Look, on this right here, just make sure you got your, your feet and you're not doing bad habits going off the ball. Just stand in the ground. Y'all see it's in the drip too, man. Both got the dreamers on, boy. You see it's in the drip. Ugly yeah, dude, man. Ugly yeah, dude. But hey, man, let's get right into it. Route tree. So right now, we hit the hitch. One. Sir, sir, not so much drag, huh? Not so much drag. You know where you're getting to. You're pushing him off. We're probably going to have free access, right? If we're running this, right? So you know you're going here. You know you're going there. For quarterbacks, throwing that ball, he's already made his mind up. He's got to go there. So. That's just like um, if you're throwing it out, I mean, quarterbacks know they're throwing that right away. Right here, watch this. Not so much of that. You're just really gonna get into it. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Press in, it, in the ground and get right out of it. Eliminate them steps that you don't need. A lot better, a lot better. Ty, I want you to be extra smooth. I know as a receiver, we think we gotta move a lot faster than we, so like, for example, you're thinking that when you hitting this route and he's ready to throw it, and that's, we make us rush our route. A lot of young receivers do that. I mean, honestly, I am 27 years old and I still do it myself. I get to the top of a route and I rush getting out the route because I'm thinking that he's ready to throw it. But I actually got more time than I'm thinking. There, that was a real violent slant. You went from here, then you changed your energy to go from this foot to lift up to go here. And then you took this right here and you took this arm and you made it damn near be isolated. And you took this leg and you slammed it and you got in. Ultimately, you got where you needed to go, cool. But just try to make it a little smoother. Take this right here and still made it with this so you got a more even balance so you can just chill here and you can load up. Tighten this glute right here so you can get be explosive coming out. And so when you, as soon as you load up, abs tighten and everything. Come off smooth, one, two, stay under yourself, boom, and get flat right away. Stay tight, I, I, your arms, I don't want them out there. You know what I'm saying? This is an elite receiver. It ain't much that I can correct on him. Any ball in the air, he's taking. Fact. I'm taking him my best on any of him, so y'all can talk all y'all want in the comments. Little details like that, got to separate him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But you see why you all the way down the field on a slant route, Kai? You, 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 you doing right here, and you pivoting right here, and it's, and it's dragging you all the way right here. When you should be catching this slant, because you can't create the angle. He has to create the angle for you. So when you coming out, boom, boom, 
boom, you gotta come straight flat, and if the ball goes out, then you go out. But you can't just start going out immediately because you're creating an intercept angle for the defense. So essentially, you're gonna be breaking right there, but you don't set the angle. He sets the angle. So if he does throw you out there, I mean, it's, it happens. But what I'm saying is, in a slant, there's two windows here and behind that linebacker. So you got to stay flat immediately. You can't come out here right for the linebacker to pick that. You got to protect that throw. Stay friendly. Get down. That's why you got to get down and getting into them glutes, bro. I'm telling you, I've been doing this shit. Same shit you've been doing for a long time, bro. That's why I'm not as explosive coming out. Just recently, I'm just learning how to activate all that shit before I'm jumping out. You got to load them glutes up and activate that core. A lot better, Kai. A lot better, less drag. Y'all saw it. I know you did. And that, hey, look, I want some real shit. This camera work, but hey, <laughs> that's real work, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's just that's a real quick change up. Good shit, boy. So now we on three. Three, this is like one of the hardest routes, but easiest routes to be on point with and complete if you're on point. <laughs> but if you're not on point, you're throwing picks. Ain't that right, Zach? Yes, sir. But you don't throw picks. What do you throw? Dot. You got the bottom of the numbers and the top of the numbers, which you can still run from the bottom, but we'll just go to the top for now. So, so this is number three right here, and this is a quick out. What you usually do? Oh, here's quick out. So quick he, out. you see what Footy got up, right? Watch, watch this, y'all. Okay, so that's on some shit. If you one of the best receivers on the team, Julio Jones, and you can just do whatever you want to win. That's what that is. If you run in there how it's supposed to be, you got a quick out, you got this, you got this inside foot up that's going to the quarterback, and you got a quick out, four steps. Look, one, two, three, four, come out with that head around. That's how it is. But if you want to do what you're doing, which some coaches in the NFL do, they'll say, come this side and make it quicker, outside foot up, and it goes here. So I'll go this, and now what's it turn into? It turns into three steps now instead of four because you already eliminated a step. So now you go one, two, three, and you're getting out just to make it quicker. That's a key point for y'all. So what I'm saying is that is something that people have in their playbooks. They install those type of things. Those are actually rules that receivers get. That's if a, um, uh, somebody's playing like this, you got a different rule. Somebody's playing like this, you got a different rule. Somebody's playing like this, you got a different rule. So that's what one of those are. So we'll do outside foot up, three steps right now. Hell yeah. Nice, Kai. Nice, smooth. And then we'll just do it with the other foot up. And then how many steps is that? It's gonna be a fourth step, second inside step. So you can start remembering this stuff. So y'all can start, so if I said like, yo, how many steps on the outside do you break on the curl route? If you know your shit, you'll know that. So tell me in the comments right now, how many steps does it take for a curl route? Outside steps. So we got three and you got the inside foot up. Hey. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. I'm glad he said that again, cause this is, <laughs> He's struggling with what I struggle with. What are you saying? You saying that four steps is gonna have your ass far as hell, huh? That's what you're saying, because I be the same thing. That's that's why we gotta learn how to control our weight, bro. I'm serious. I mean, literally, coaches got the little small dudes, they do it. What I'm saying is that's gonna separate it. We have to learn how to control our weight. I'm still learning too, bro, so don't, you know what I'm saying? So what I watch Julio do, he'll go right here and um, he'll press off, but he ain't take a full step to get out. So he'll do like this. One, two, three, four, and come out. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta still press. You just gotta know when to turn that tempo up on him. Like, you know what I'm saying? When to, you know, smooth and when to turn that tempo up. That's what this is because it's gonna be what? Free release probably. You're not running this. If, they, if you're running this route and you got a guy to come up and press, the rules are probably gonna say convert it. You still wanna step essentially, but you just don't feel like, matter of fact, just step and take the steps and however far you get, we'll correct it from there. Hey, that's the route, boy. You didn't even know that you really did everything right. Only thing you did that I'ma that I'ma say is eliminate that drag, because that's something that you do. But you essentially just took a little extra, you know, you got a little farther. Coaches would rather you take a little further to depth than not get the depth at all. So now that's where you gotta get better at controlling that weight. So when you push here, get back friendly to the quarterback. So when you start and you broke right here, that's good. Get straight back to that line. That's why it's six to five. Nice. Hey, I, bro, that is beautiful. That means he's doing it right. So the fact that he can't get to that ball means he's doing it right. Because on an out, Zach, you're not throwing it to him. What are you throwing it to? A spot. To a spot. You're throwing it to a location. So he's not throwing it to him on an out. He's not literally, he's throwing it to where he's supposed to be. So your receivers need to be where you're supposed to be. Or we're going to put in the guy 
he'll be there. That's the thing for a quarterback. If you throw it to the guy on the out route, a good corner is going to pick it. And he got nothing but daylight in front of him. That's why when you miss, you got to miss outside. That's a good point. You got to miss outside. So I want to just make sure I'm locking this in and activating these glutes. And pressing off. One, two, three, four, boom. Right here. That's how I should look. But since you're going full speed, you'll probably get further down the field. But hey, that means you probably should run this route hundred times and that's how we get better at it i didn't do all that shit y'all like that i'm here now i know now though that don't mean take away my credibility from knowing so don't think why i'm not here and there just listen to what i'm saying and what i'm trying to give to y'all it's gonna help so now we got route number four and um there's multiple ways to run this route so i got i'll give you guys an example that i dealt with personally when i first got signed with the coach if we had a, a dig i would get to the top and they demanded this one, two, because it's an indication for the quarterback to know when to throw it. So giving an example in a game, he could be getting rushed this way like this, but if he knows he got somebody who's doing their job and he already seen the coverage that there's not a guy right there, then he can know that he can just throw it to that spot. That's how great plays are made. And there's also a way when I was with the Bengals where they said, hey, we don't want that one, two. We just want a one step and speed cut, which most coaches want, most coaches want. So you're going one, two with the top, boom, and getting right in. So you're going here and getting right in. And that's running full speed, so that's hard to do. So we're gonna run it two ways, Kai. We're gonna run it like this at the top, boom, boom, and we're gonna run this. So two ways, right now, I want the one, two. Let's roll it. All right, this is the one thing that you need to pay attention to. When he's coming out of this dig, Kai, we, hey, man, you both got to get better at this, bro. When we coming out this dig, we can't come out chilling like this, bro. You got somebody guarding you. That's why you got to create that separation and really get there. Like you're going through the gauntlet drill at that point. And you got to stay flat. What are we doing? Creating an intercept angle for a safety at that point. Earlier it was for the linebacker, now it's for the safety. So you got to stay flat, protect the throw. Let's just keep it real, bro. You are... <laughs> Like, ain't nobody really being made like you these days. I can't even jump as high as you, bro. And I'm supposed to be able to. So people ain't gonna be made like you. You get this shit down like that, bro, it's over with because you're doing your job and they can trust you to put you out there. On that stick up the top, what you gotta do? You gotta work on at the top. You know how to run out here. It's just at the top where you're having your problems at. So we might need to just, when you get there, slow it down a little bit. And when you get there, boom. Ooh, you gotta literally tighten that core and get engaged with it when you get to the top. Don't forget, let's go. What it's looking like to me is you ain't controlling your tempo. You coming off way too fast and you trying to stop at the end. Maybe come off super fast, control it a little bit and then speed up at the end a little bit. Control your tempo, figure out where, figure it out where you can actually bend down and hit this, boom, boom, boom. Cause you can do that, you can ah, bah, bump a little. So you go bah, bah, bah for the dig, you can do that. Go down. A lot better. Just stay flat. A lot better. Just stay flat. So when you come in here, just stay flat. We got to just understand that it's the same way as driving a car. You get into the stoplight and you know you're getting there. You got to start slowing down a little bit before you get there. Because if you get all the way to the stoplight, you just stop. You know what I'm saying? That's very hard to do. And what cars do that? The best cars. You get what I'm saying? Treat your body like a car. What car are you? You know which one you are. So, hey, look, if you got this car that barely, hey, look. You might not want to be pressing the brakes all hard if you ain't got no car that press the brakes all hard. Like that shit, tough, tough. Like super hard. I mean, especially for us. You know what I'm saying? We ain't, God ain't give us everything. We got to work for it. We just got done running one of the, a tough route to run. I don't know what y'all hardest route to run is. Everybody's probably different, but we got number five. It's a comeback. I mean, I know them then well it's hard for me to run so a couple ways you can run a comeback route run your typical comeback route where you're going boom and coming out whatever so that's just gonna be a one two three pressing out straight to the sideline or you got some teams where you'll get all the way to the top you'll take this you'll just pivot in as if you're running a hitch or something i ask y'all a question right here this is just to see where your knowledge is at with the game you got a comeback and you got cover two what does that route turn into slam the brakes late but you still got out but you don't want to do this and get too far and create an angle you know what i'm saying so you want to probably start slamming them brakes probably like 
if, it's, if you're breaking at 16, you probably want to start slamming at like 13. I want y'all to watch the video, and when he ran that comeback right there, click on the, at the top of his route, because you'll see him come here, and you and you want to be in this position. You want to be head over toes. So that means boom, going that way instead of here. So it's gonna be boom, boom. So if anything, you falling, which way you should be falling? Forward. Don't think so much. If you hey, if you end up running it past 19 or to 20, or whatever. I just wanted to be smooth at the top. So don't even just. Run your debt what you think you'll run your debt at. Don't even worry about it right now. See that? Pop, 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 pop at the top. I mean, he's just trying to figure it out. That's what he's trying to do to figure it out. So one thing that he's doing good, he's not messing up the same way. So you just want to, I mean, look, we all here to practice. That's what this process is. You're not going to be perfect at everything. So when you're running this route, just make sure you take your time at the top. Come out hard and fast start to smooth it up and then break down boom boom it should be a one two three he has to figure out a way to go one two three and come out he has to figure out a way to do that running that full speed route now we got route number six which is your what girl all right so we're gonna run it at 12 yards hey you want to know what the it's two things out of that it's two things that i like I, one thing i liked and one thing i didn't like which one here first didn't like what i didn't like is at the top you're still doing that little pivot shit but we know what I did like at the fucking top of the route coming out you stay one level the whole time because earlier you like this and then you going that time you was here and you came straight out one level thank you this is how it's supposed to look I mean look I'm not saying it all I can't even do it but I know it's supposed to look like this when you get to the top it's one load up two set this angle three and getting right to it he got to figure out a way to do that right now at the top it shouldn't be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, nothing more. Ocho Cinco, which is that man's favorite. Hey, one, two. He coming out like this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back. <laughs> and, I don't, and, and I don't advise y'all to try that. Hey, discipline, discipline, discipline. I do not care how you mess up this next rep. All I know is it better be one, two, three coming out the top. I don't care if you mess up at the top. You don't even come out with the level. All I need is one, two, three at the top. One, two, three at the top, no matter what. Like, no matter what. Those are the rules that you should be able to follow. I don't care how it looks, but be disciplined. Ah, let's go! <laughs> yes, sir, he's still pivoted a little bit, but that was one, two, three. My mama, that was it. Shit, what? Number seven, some people might call it a deep out corner. Right now we're gonna run a corner because you got cover two. You're gonna wanna flatten it out. You got single high, you're gonna wanna keep it high. Those are your rules. This is all I wanna make sure. And this is gonna go for seven, and this is also gonna go for number eight coming next. It's just gonna be opposite of which way you're going. Cause you're gonna run number eight, which is gonna be a post next. I just spoiled the fun. Okay, <laughs> so seven, so this is the top. I'm not even, I ran the whole route now. Stick. I need one, two, three, then start to look up because you'll create that angle and separation. If you step at the top of your route, and start looking right away, you'll just start dragging and you will not create speed coming out. Listen to that. That is important. So when you stick right here, one, two, three, why is it that you can do that? It's because the quarterback should know where you're going already. What else? You should know where you're going already. People that's doing like this is people that don't trust the process and what's going on. So trust that when you keep your head down, that he's gonna put, he gonna throw them what? Dots. He'll throw them dots. Nice. Broke out, stayed down the field with his eyes. Great separation. And however it looked and stuff, we can make that better after repetition, but those are key coaching points that he followed those. So right now we have eight, which is your post. So instead of having him run it, like aiming at your far upright, and that's the far upright is right there. So when a coach says far upright, y'all don't know what y'all talking about. It's a simple, the far upright. When he says aim towards the near upright, it's right there. Those are your two angles for a post, nothing else. So once he says stick it, it's gonna be one, two, three, then look up. Don't look up until you take those three steps. We're gonna have Kyler, what we going we say what we're gonna do on this one? Run a bang. So it's gonna be a bang eight. And that's gonna be time and throw with this quarterback. And I'm gonna test Zach right now. When you're running a bang eight, it's gonna be a free release. So the quarterback, I mean the cornerback is not gonna be pressed on this play. 
So Zach, got a trick question for you. Right. Not a trick question, right. but <laughs> you might make with one. <laughs> 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 All right, look, what kind of throw is it going to be if he's playing off? What kind of throw is it? It's going to be a dot. <laughs> I only know one kind of throw, but but he plant like like bang it. <laughs> okay. Hey, so I was trying to get into something. So what coverage will you see? What would you be throwing this against? Cover three. Cover three. And what does that mean? So that means the corner off. He pressing the corner. Means it's free access. Free access. Let's get it. Line up. And then wait, Line wait, up. Hold up. Line up. Free access. Free access. Let's get it. Line it. Run it. Hey, and what is that? Late as hell. You know the route, so what are you waiting for? How is he running down the field like a post? He should be getting hit that right out the thing. The ball should be caught 18 to 22. That's not what I'm talking oh. about. It not, not how far down the field he is, it's when he's coming out of it, the, the timing on the ball. Yeah. It should be there right away. I mean, well, okay, for, like I'm just saying, here's what I did. Is I went, I caught it, one, two, three, ball. I don't give a damn. All caught. I know is this. All I know is when I'm breaking right here, the ball should be smacking me right here. So. Money ball, we got a fade on your nine. Not a red line right now, but hold the line and he'll throw it on your outside. Now, Zach. You waited too long to throw the ball, or did you think you didn't? Why he why why he gotta be that far down the field for you to start to do this, bro? It's like this. Boom, you know where he's going, put it there and let him run and go oh, get it. Ain't no, I'm not leaving him alone, bro. I'm telling you right now, fam, this is to make him better. And I'm getting on his ass, but it's gonna definitely make him better, bro. So that's just me. That's a fact. This right here, this is my God. And I'm talking about, this is honest truth right here. Me and him right here, we used to train out here before either one of us start doing this fact. YouTube camera wave. And that's a fact. Every day. And he trusts what I know and my knowledge to the game. Just cause we having a disagreement or some shit, don't make what well, makes me right, right on there. Cause he's wrong. <laughs> cause he's wrong. <laughs> but look, but look, he's saying, that in a different scenario, Ross, it would be like this, God's about, okay, all I'm saying is this, right? You, you might be right, Zach, but we, as receivers, got a bang eight, we either got a seven or a five step. So if we didn't say we were gonna run a five or a seven step, then then you could've been like, I didn't know where he was gonna be. We said we were running a five, all I was saying was, if I'm running a bang eight, I should not be able to come more than three steps out of my bang eight. So whatever the scenario you were trying to say, it didn't even matter, because I was just saying we had said five steps, so. I'm sorry, no, he's but you're wrong, my dog. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate y'all for tuning in. My dog going to Oregon right here. Yeah, yeah. Hey, superstar right here, y'all. Yeah. Let us know in the comments who taller. I know <laughs> I am already, but just so for his confirmation. I can see the top of Whatever, bro, shut up. Look, y'all get with the Dreamer shorts. Hey, yeah, these yeah. are fire too. My little, he bought them to the field. He bought them to the field. I was like, I need them, you know it. Hey, he looked out for me, but I appreciate that. Y'all tune in, like, share, subscribe. We out. Post notifications. Post notifications. P42 Waddle Way, Sydney. Grab my Glock, count this guap. Little bitch, I'm in my bag. Hey, y'all